Hello guys, so to this vlog is we're going to talk about culture, culture differences. She's from United States. Can you introduce yourself? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, I'm Korean, but I lived in the States for a long time. So I grew up there. So we were gonna talk about cultural differences that we felt when we first came back to Korea. I had culture shock of my own culture. So when I first arrived here, I actually I'm shocked about the transportation mm. because the transportation is very, very nice. Mm. Because in Philippines we don't have tunnel. Here is there's a lot of tunnel and you can go anywhere with train, then mm. bus. And in Philippines we can just ride a jeepney. You know mm. jeepney? No. And you <laughs> just jeepney? just like bus. Oh. But it's not just like just like only. But there's a there is there's a bus also, but it's not very convenient. Mm. In province, just we just use always motor, a uh, motor mm. motorbike. Oh, motorcycle. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And oh, yeah. bus also, but it's mm. not it's not that convenient. They always motorbike. Yeah, jeepney. Jeep mm. jeepney is very famous in Philippines. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> How often do the buses come in Philippines? We just wait, just like here also. Same. Yeah, mm. we just wait also the schedule like that. Mm. How about you? Oh yeah, also me too. When I was in the States, the buses where I live, the buses come every one hour. So, oh. <laughs> so you must drive or else it would be really inconvenient. But after coming to Korea, I felt like I don't need to drive because there are buses and subways and trains everywhere. And in the States, you have to drive at least five hours to go to another city, but Ooh. or like two, three hours at least. But in Korea, you can go end to end in like seven hours. <laughs> when I arrive in Korea, I, I'm just thinking like, there's no homeless here. Oh. I think this. I think just Korea is like perfect place. <laughs> perfect place. Yeah, oh, every thought... country. Yeah, I thought this oh. is a perfect country. But when I arrive here, I thought there's no homeless here. But when I go to South Station, a lot of homeless people, mm. and, and mostly it's Harabuji. <laughs> when I'm I'm shocked actually when I saw them. What? There's homeless here in Korea. Oh <laughs> <I'm> really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't it's thought Korea is perfect country. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not I'm not doing research <laughs> oh. when I came here. That's because it. in like K dramas there are no homeless people. Yeah. It's only like rich people and meeting yeah. <laughs> That's why <I> romance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too much romance. Yeah. <laughs> But oh. in, in reality, it's so different. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for me, what was surprising was people don't like to help poor people. When I first arrived, I gave money to like old people who are mm -hmm. sitting on the sitting outside and selling veggies. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, I have to help them. Yeah. But yeah. some of the Koreans told me. I mean, I'm Korean too, but some of the Koreans who lived here told me, don't help them. I'm like, why? Yeah. And they said sometimes they're faking. Yeah, yeah. They, and they thought like that. And some people make a lot of money out of it. I don't believe it still. So I still help them sometimes then. when I can help. Now I don't carry around cash that much. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't help them that much anymore. But yeah, I feel like, oh feel so pity but a but, lot of Koreans don't think that way yeah but this is also that that's homeless people the, and also government of Korea they help also that's why they're thinking oh don't you don't need to help them because oh. they they are just like did have donation also from government like that mm, but I think some people don't even get the donation sometimes they get free lunch or something oh yeah mm. that's correct mm. But a lot of Koreans, they work so hard, mm. so they think homeless people are lazy. Yeah. That's why they became homeless. But I think there are many reasons why people become homeless. 
so I don't think that's always true. And then the other one was I was surprised is we arranged the garbage because in Philippines there's just like just two kind just like plastic on it and mm. then paper then mm. the waste food is just like mixed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> then here it's very complicated. I'm yeah. actually when I first arrived here I'm stressed because of arranging oh, <laughs> the garbage. Yeah, me too. It's too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when I was in the States, there's food disposal, so like you just put everything in the sink and mm. then it yeah. <laughs> round everything and then put it down the sewage. But in Korea, there's nothing like that. And I heard that it's illegal to do it. Yeah, you need to arrange property. <laughs> That's why my, I I just arranged simple. Then my my friend said, "You need to arrange the property, or else the government you come come our house." Like oh yeah, <laughs> uh, they don't come to your house, but they give you a ticket. Oh, <laughs> yeah. when oh. I first came to Korea, I got the ticket, and oh. it was really expensive. I don't remember exactly how much. I, since then, I don't do it anymore. I don't mix <laughs> garbages together. I learned my lesson. Yeah. I think Korean yeah. weddings are like one hour and then no thirty minutes, one hour and then we eat lunch. <laughs> then <finish. laughs> then the, yeah, it's, it's all about taking photos. Everybody just okay, stand there, take photos, oh. and okay, walk, take photos. Okay, kiss the bride, take photos, <laughs> <laughs> and like okay, friends, come on and take photos. Family, come on and take photos. Yep. You have like that also, but in the civil wedding, it's just very simple. But church wedding is the tall long, this one day and one night like that. Mm. I was once late to a wedding. I think like 15 minutes late. It was already about to end, and everybody <laughs> was walking, <laughs> walking out to get dinner or lunch. So yeah, I was surprised. And there is no dancing or anything. But yeah. nowadays. Some brides and bride's friends or groom's friends, they come out and dance. Mm. Uh, I was surprised when everybody carry around their toothbrush and toothpaste <laughs> and go to the public bathroom and public restroom and then they brush teeth together. <laughs> After lunch, everybody like at work they go to the public restroom and then they brush teeth yeah and i always hear like <laughs> from the yeah. man's bathroom <laughs> and then i asked them what's why you guys always make this sound and they told me they're cleaning their tongue yeah so like <laughs> I, I really do like that sound too uh, my husband and my, my parent is look yeah they teach me always like that because yeah. it's more clean and mm. <laughs> all the korean guys they always make the yeah. sound when they're brushing teeth <laughs> so, so i asked them what's this noise that you always make i can't imagine <laughs> United States, there's security guard also yeah there's security guards everywhere i was surprised when i arrived in korea the security guard there's there's no gun Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, then everywhere is, there's no security guard there. There's only the Bikwazong. Then mm. then there's no gun because in Philippines everywhere there's security guard and wearing and carry the oh. gun. Everywhere. Oh. There's always carry of a gun. So <laughs> I sh I'm sure when I arrive in Korea. Oh, there's security guard, but mm. there's no gun. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even scary. <laughs> yeah. That's why I think that Korea mm. is very safe. Oh. Safe place like that. I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, I think also because CCTVs are everywhere. Yeah. So some people they want to steal something, but everything is yeah. they're watched from everywhere. Yeah, that's that's the kind of very safety here in Korea. Mm. And also, I was surprised because a lot of security guards are really old, mm. and they don't seem strong. So, <laughs> so like if somebody <laughs> run away, how are they gonna catch <laughs> them? <laughs> the harabajis are gonna be like, hey, you <laughs> wait. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's better just call police. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot in apartment. There's mostly old. <laughs> yeah. And I was surprised is the living cost here in Korea, because when I buy something, just like even the, it's like the clothes. 
then I convert to Philippine peso, I'm shocked. Mm. Wow, oh. this is so expensive. Oh. Because I ca- even Philipp- in Philippines, I cannot buy like this. Oh. <laughs> but my husband said, just, just don't care about that. <laughs> because I always, if I buy clothes, I always convert to Philippine peso. Even this manon, this like it's so expensive to me. Oh, <laughs> because actually I'm not buy <laughs> expensive clothes. Oh yeah, <laughs> because I'm not watching the brand one. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, just yeah. watching the if if much for me mm-hmm. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I think that's good. I always do that too. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't care about brands, but Koreans, a lot of Koreans, they care about the brands yeah. and like. High-end brand like I don't know when they're taking photos, they always put like Chanel back right in front Ooh. of them, and, like take photos and put <laughs> it on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so shocking oh, when Philippine, I mean, Korean is too mm. much makeup. Mm. So it's very yeah. heavy. Yeah. Some pe- some Korean is very heavy. When I'm go to Wajang Shil, just <laughs> look at my face. I I wanna I wanna. Um, wipe my face because mm. I thought I'm just heavy makeup then when I saw the girl <laughs> it's too much so I'm saying to myself oh it's okay that is normal <laughs> I think differently because I I put I thought I put a lot of makeup and then I go to the bathroom and then like everyone has like heavy makeup I'm like Oh, I need to put more makeup on. <laughs> I look so plain and <laughs> it looks like I'm not wearing any makeup. Like a lot of people told me in Korea, like, oh, you don't put a lot of makeup, but I already put a lot of makeup in my standard. <laughs> I'm like, no, I put a lot of makeup. Why you say that? And I see other girls, I'm like, oh, okay, I understand. Like when I stand next to them, I'm like, okay. It looks like I'm not wearing makeup. <laughs> <laughs> That's why a lot of foreigners are also wearing makeup, but there's a lot of so foreigners not wearing makeup because mm. they don't like wearing makeup. Yeah. Me too, but yeah, I'm trying too. to be I'm more confident if I put makeup. Yeah. Maybe it's just also Korean. If mm. they put heavy makeup they more confident because mm-hmm. I, what I say is very high. <laughs> You think standard yeah. here is high, that's why you're more confident of you have makeup. <laughs> yeah. About the uh, low birth here in Korea. I don't I don't understand the it's very nice here in Korea then why why Korean people don't want hmm. a baby. Actually it's very nice environment here and the job also but the problem is it's very the living cost here is expensive to much. The train I thought they didn't like her baby because of expensive. Yeah. Baby. You. What do you think about that? Uh, <laughs> you too. I, yeah, I think so too because it's so expensive to live here. I mean, it's not just about the expenses though because I think Koreans are changing to be more selfish. Cool. So, <laughs> so like. <clears throat> The, back in the days, I think people were more giving, but these days they learn to become like I don't know, independent. They would say, but yeah, actually selfish, and they don't want to give up anything for like each other. So I think that's why people don't want to get married. You can comment down below yeah. and <laughs> we can answer the questions. So that's it guys. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much. <laughs>